Hi, I'm Chris with Cali RV in Rockford, Illinois. And today I'm going to show you a 2018 Cherokee Arctic Wolf 255 DRL. So this is a new fifth wheel from the Cherokee line. Cherokee is a division of Forest River. Uh, they produce Gray Wolf Travel Trailers, Wolf Pup, Wolf Pack Toy Haulers. They're actually the number one retailing division of Forest River. So they like to, to put a lot of high-end features in at a lower price point, a nice affordable unit. So up front you have a nice high gloss front cap. Um, there is integrated these blue LEDs. This is the turning point hitch, so this will allow you to make 90 degree um, turns and should allow you to use a, a short bed truck without having to buy an expensive sliding hitch. Um, all right, so you would have the solar charging system. If you wanted to buy a solar panel, you could hook it up right here. You will have propane tanks on both sides. They're 20 pound tanks. This is a nice carefree electric awning and you do have the blue LED underneath. All right, so here's your main storage compartment on the exterior and you can access this from the front and both sidewalls. So nice and easy to get things in and out. All right, so the Arctic Wolf would use a friction hinge door, entry door, so you can stop this at any point, wherever is most convenient for you, where you can fully open it. And you would have this secure stance step from Moor Ride. So this is really nice. It just uh, can flip up in travel mode. Otherwise, it comes out here. And it's just really stable. It's, uh, it has a lot greater weight capacity than traditional RV steps. And you have a big grab handle. So nice and easy um, to get into this trailer. All right. So a couple things on the Arctic Wolf. One is they have a key to like system. So basically, you would only have to have one key and you can open your storage compartments, your entry door, so you don't have to fumble with three or four keys. And this would have the extreme weather Arctic package. So that'll be a heated and enclosed underbelly, heated by your furnace. You have a 35,000 BTU furnace, so an upgraded furnace, um, ceiling fan, and a fantastic fan. So real nice system to have. Here's your water heater. You have an outside shower. Um, these would be some uh, TV hookups at the campsite for um, TV out, and then some electrical outlets, a TV mount, and you'll have the same TV mount on the inside, so you can bring your TV from inside out here or have two separate TVs, and some outside speakers. All right, so you would have the ground control 3.0 system, so that is a fully automatic system, so it's just a one touch. Um, really cool system, but also remember the hitch height of your truck, so. Uh, a fantastic thing. Outside kitchen on the back, so you have a fridge. You also have an ice maker, which is pretty unique. Um, and underneath, you would have an LP quick connect. So if you wanted to bring a grill, you could just need to bring a low pressure grill, but you could set that out here at your campsite. All right. On this back wall, I wanted to show a couple things. You do have a, a prep system for a backup camera if you wanted to add one of those. And then they do a cool thing with the bumper. They add some extra framework. So if you wanted to add a hitch receiver, it'd be really easy to do so. It would just bolt in for a nice uh, strong hitch for a, a bike rack or something like that. All right. Back here's your power cord. So this is 50 amp. So we optioned this just with the single air conditioner. But if you wanted to add a second air conditioner, you have sufficient amperage. And it's already pre-wired in the bedroom. All right. So this unit comes in at 30 feet, 4 inches, so definitely a good unit for um, state and national parks and about 7,900 pounds, so right in that half ton, three quarter ton towable range. Two slides on this unit. Um, I want to show these are actually cable slides. It's Norco is the company that makes them. Um, it's really a nice reliable system. It's nice and lightweight. And if you ever needed to do any work on them, um, all the cables um, join basically at the top of the slide out behind the fascia, so it's pretty easy to work on comparative to other slide out systems. So here's your upgraded furnace. You do have um, your holding tank dumps are down here as well as your low point drain. So they're very easy and accessible. Fresh water, city water connection. You do have a black tank flush to make dumping out easier and a cable hookup, but also a satellite hookup if you wanted to bring a portable satellite dish or if the campground had satellite. All right. Oh, one quick thing I wanted to point out. So here's a, actually the control for your leveling jack. So a lot of times they'd put this control in a storage compartment where it's actually hard to see the truck when you're backing up. This is a nice, easy spot. So just a pretty thoughtful design. All right. All right.
right, so on the inside you have a nice little kitchen, a nice high-rise pull-out faucet. It's so definitely an upgrade. Here's your sink cover, which is nice to really enhance counter space. And then this is a nice deep sink that you can actually fit pot and pans in, um, and it is stainless steel and undermounted to the countertop. And then here's a nice upgrade. This is a glass cover, so it looks looks better, and it's actually a lot more usable than a graded system on top for extra counter space. And then this is a residential fridge. So this is very cool. All the advantages of a residential fridge that it'll cool quicker and it just looks a lot better. It also has an ice maker um, and you will have an inverter which will allow the batteries to power this fridge while you go down the road. So a really good system. And then just these upgraded cabinets up here. Lots of nice deep storage kind of around the full trailer. Here's your pantry and these shelves go way back. They go probably three feet back, so plenty of room for food. All right, so here is where you would mount the TV if you wanted to do so. And then just a nice big picture window. You do have a roller shade, you actually have roller shades on all the windows. And then just, just a lot of storage back here. All right, so your two main seating areas. This couch would be a tri-fold, so this would make into about a full bed. So a nice two-person sleeper. Here's your dinette, a nice four-person dinette. And then drawers on both sides. And these are actually 40-inch drawers, so they have a lot of extension. So really good spot for blankets or for clothes. And this will, of course, drop down into a bed. And you have four nice big panoramic windows in the slide-out. So a lot of good lighting in here. All right, nice little ledge for a charging station. You have 110 volt outlets and a few USB chargers. And then of course, just more storage throughout. All right. So in the hallway, I just wanted to show that uh, basically you have your control panel here. So everything's nice and accessible. You can check your battery levels, the levels of your holding tanks, your water heater and water pump are controlled here, your awning and your main slide out. So nice system. And then they also give you a basically a touch screen monitor. This will have all your owner's manuals. So sometimes that's a little easier than uh, hunting through the books. All right, so I'll go into the bedroom first. So this is really a fantastic design. This bed will be electric, it will actually tilt up. So in the morning when you're getting dressed or putting your shoes on, you have a lot of room to sit or to walk around the bed. And then at night you can actually extend this bed down. So it's a queen bed. So it's really just a very nice design. So like I said, here's the pre-wiring for the second air conditioner if you wanted to do that. Otherwise, at this size of trailer, you have full ductwork, racetrack ductwork throughout the trailer. So it should stay nice and cool with just a single air. All right. So nice wardrobe on this slide. And then you get basically kind of a Jack and Jill uh, bathroom over here. So nice big roomy garden tub. And then a nice, uh, nice size sink in the bathroom. Here's your medicine cabinet. And then it's nice having the two doors, so whoever's getting out of bed has nice easy access to the bathrooms, not climbing over anybody. So this is a 2018 Cherokee Arctic Wolf. This is a 255 DRL model. So this is for sale at Collier RV. So give us a look, CollierRV.com, or our number here is 815-332-3322. Thanks for watching.